Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show the KNIST enables clustering servers, the KN servers in VisualMap. Particularly, I'm going to demonstrate the KN servers with two different scenarios. In the first scenario, we assume that we have an unclassified dataset. We will classify some of the data manually according to certain criteria, then use the KN servers to classify the rest of the data. Okay, let's first load our unclassified sample dataset. This sample dataset contains about 500 data points. Each data point contains a weekly price of a stock for a whole year. We can explore this data through the line chart. Now, with the help of this line chart, we can select three groups of data points. The first are those stocks which performed well for that year. We classify them by assigning a color to them. The second group are those which performed badly in that year. We classify them with a different color. For the third group, we select those stocks which had about average performance. Those stocks are located close to the S&P index, which are located roughly here. Now we have created a, a sample classification. We can then use the KN servers to classify the rest of the date. To do so, we just open the KN servers window. In this window, on the left side, we see a map of the current datasets. The right side provides uh, the interface to control the algorithm. In this case, we just use the default settings and start the classification by clicking on the coloring button. We see that in the main window, that all our data points have been classified into three groups. We can visualize uh, these three groups with the line chart, for instance. Now assume we want to classify the datasets in a way to reflect the volatilities of the stock prices. We first reset all data points to unclassified status. Then, by our experience, we know that those stocks located at the edge of the map have higher volatilities and those located at the center have lower volatilities. Let's classify some of those data points accordingly. Here, in order to simplify the selection, we change our selection mode to using brushes. Now we can classify the whole dataset based on the new sample classification. Now let's explore some different settings for the KN algorithm. To do so, we open the property shield. The first property, called the auto coloring, will configure the program to do classification automatically whenever we have changed a parameter. Let's set this property to true. The K property is a key parameter for the KN algorithm. It defines the size of the neighborhood. We can change its value by scrolling the mouse wheel. We see the map in the main window changes immediately to reflect the new settings. In this case, the parameter K actually does not have a large impact on the classification result. The property KN method, on the other side, have a relatively large impact on the result. 
On the control panel, we can also change the metric function that is used to calculate the distances between dead points. Here we try to use the correlation as the new metric. We see that the new metric changes the classification quite significantly. The second scenario I'm going to talk about is uh, when we got a dataset that we don't know enough to do some kind of a manual classification and the dataset is too large to apply unsupervised clustering algorithm directly. In this case, we can apply a clustering algorithm on a small randomly selected subset, then use the KN algorithm to classify the whole dataset. Let's start the VisMap with a sample dataset from flow cytometry analysis. This dataset contains about a half million data points. Each data point contains 12 attributes about a cell measured by flow cytometer. We can explore this attribute through the spectrum band view. It would be a little bit hard to apply clustering algorithm directly on such a large dataset. In this case, we first select a small random subset of the dataset as training datasets. To do so, we first create a random map of the whole dataset. From the random map, we can then easily select a random subset. Here, we select about a thousand data points. Just for the purpose of visualization, we create a PCA map for this training dataset. Then we classify this training dataset with uh, the k-min algorithm. Before we go on to apply the training dataset to the whole dataset, we also create a second training dataset and classify it with a different classification algorithm. In this case, we use the affinity propagation algorithm. Now we can apply our training datasets to the larger datasets. To do so, we open the KRN service window. In the datasets drop-down list, we will see all available training datasets. We first choose the first training datasets and use it to classify the initial larger datasets. Then we do another classification with the second training dataset. Finally, we can compare the two different classifications by quickly switching between the two classifications using the undo and the redo buttons in the main window. <laughs> 